Because they were taught me about winning. No, they were taught me about boxing. He was always there for me with the boxing. No matter what. Ten wins, seven inside round one. Did I say seven? Make that eight bats in fight number 11. Fight, 27 wins. Got 25 knockout. Unbelievable. Were you a rough kid? Yeah. A lot of people think I was a rough kid, got a lot of fights growing up, beat up a lot of people, but it's not true. Got beat up all the time. I can't believe it. Please, a lot of you. All right, you're just 20 years old. If you win the fight with Trevor Burton. Win, win. Okay, yeah. so, so when you win, do you like have an Adrian like in Rocky? No, not at all. No, not at all. So no girlfriend? When you're in training, do you give up sex? No. See, because my husband's always telling me he's in training, so. All right, November 22nd, championship fight. November 22nd. You want to pick around? No, I'm not going to predict, but a pretty exciting moment for me. Will you come back after and we'll talk about how you won? Yeah. Would you invite me back? Oh, November 23rd. What a pleasure. May I just say, good luck to you. God be with you. We'll be right How good is Mike Tyson really? Oh, Tyson's punches even sound different than other heavyweights. Oh, Burbick is rocked. He's in trouble here, and it's still the first round. Burbick is just trying to get through the first round. He's hurt, no question. Another big shot by Tyson. He's laying into a right left. Burbick gets hurt. He stumbles. And a big first round for Mike Tyson. Put his ass on the floor. Tyson was everything people could have hoped for in that first round. Burbick's in a heap of trouble here. And he goes down! Big right hand and Burbick's in trouble again. Right to the body. Uppercut. Left hook! Burbick goes down! Butterflies all having fun, you know what I mean. Sleep in peace when day is done, that's what I mean. And this old world is a new world, and a bold world. That's all. And a new era in boxing has begun. Everything Tyson does is intimidating. He doesn't wear a robe, he's worked up a full sweat, he's got a scornful look on his face that says, let's get this going, let's get it over with. The heavyweight champion of the world comes into the ring. This is why we are all here. All the way Shot to the body. Go, let it go. Here comes Chase again. Hit it, Rip Bulls. I'm a dead. I'm like a dead. I'm a dead. You against me. Me against you. Here he goes. I don't think he'll get up from this. Spence is laying flat on his back. That he's hit you? That he's chased you and your mother around in Russia? That Mike has a very volatile temper? True? True? Extremely volatile. Extremely volatile. It's scary. It's scary. What happens? Does he hit you? Does he hit you? He shakes. He pushes. He pushes. He swings. For a long time, that had happened when I thought I, was, I could handle it, you know. I've only recently become afraid. And just recently, I've become afraid. Michael, Michael is a manic depressive. He's a manic He is. He, that's he is. a fact. I mean, that's just a fact. He's had it for a long it's time. That he's had for a very long it time. It went untreated, and it, it got went worse. Untreated, therefore it got Why worse. do you think no one Why saw it before? Why do you think nobody saw it before? Customato didn't see it. Bill Caden didn't see it. Bill Caden didn't see it. I can't, I can't imagine, imagine that anyone would live with Mike Tyson. That anyone could live with Mike Tyson. The one that I know, the one that I see, and not recognize the one that, that I know, there's no and not see that there's a problem. Way. 
hitting teachers, hitting girls and pulling them into the bathroom. So why wasn't it treated? Because he did well in the ring. I think he did exceptionally well in the ring. The day after the rape, you went back to the pageant and participated. You danced in it. How could you do that? I'm not a quitter. If I were a quitter, I would have never gone through with this trial. This is what happened. This is the truth. What are your feelings towards Mike Tyson? I pity him. That's all I can feel for him. After he did what he did, he said to me, don't you love me now? And all I can think is this man is sick. If I saw him today, I would tell him, you hurt me real bad. I didn't do this to hurt you. I didn't do this to take your career away. I did this because you need help. And if your so-called friends aren't big enough to tell you that, then I will. You said this is the only interview you're going to do, but are you going to write a book? I have no plans to write a book. This is the last time I will address society. I'd right. like to make a statement about my future. Excuse me, future. There's, There's been a lot of speculation about my plan. plan. And here they are. I, I will fight, fight again. again. I look forward I look to seeing forward you all very soon. soon. You couldn't even look at me. Do I had him? Stick to the towel! It's all over in the first round! <laughs> Let's do the third round this time, you happy? That's a WBC belt back. Okay. Look at the look on Tyson's face as he goes eye to eye with Holyfield. The sense of anticipation as before the first fight is almost palpable. A ferocious Mike Tyson, bobbing and weaving. 220 at his best combination. That motherfucker headbutted me. What a first round! And he fucking did it again. He flings over to the referee as a cut around the right eye of Mike Tyson from a clash of heads, I believe. It's a fight. No, I was gonna let this motherfucker take me out like that again. Wasn't gonna lose. That is again, motherfucker. In that moment, I believe he was headbutting me on purpose. 
In the first fight, ref caught headbutt and accidental. Oh fucking shit. What are you gonna do now in terms of your career, Mike? Well, for example, it worked against the Holyfield fight. Well, fuck it, it's a fight. Whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Mike, you're talking the way I want to talk. You got a problem with talking to the station. You know what? I think we'll, I think we'll end this discussion right now. Could, asshole. Yeah, real nice. Mike. Fuck off. By the time I got back in the ring, I went on a tear. I kept winning, and you kept watching. I was doing coke like I was on the Olympic coke team. I should have been on a psych ward. But I wanted my title. I was so coked up and angry, I didn't even need a fucking ring. Can this be the night of his boxing redemption? Or is this the comeuppance boxing fans are waiting to see? I was so fucking angry, I finally had my chance. I was ready to destroy this motherfucker. I think you're gonna know what hit him. His career, but his whole life. Oh, he's doing a good job. He's got hope. No, he's... You can't take that from All my boxing guys, the ones I worshipped as a kid, it's like they deserted me. After dawn, I need some quick money. We set up a fight, but I never should have been in the ring. I was missing wildly. I was standing still. I couldn't stomach it. I love my sports and I can paint. What was I doing? I was letting everybody down. I know this wasn't the outcome you were looking for, but I did you want to continue to fight? I just want to say, what's like you're not going to fight no more. I'm done. I'm going to break the score by losing to this caliber fight. Are you saying what it sounds like, Mike? Iron Mike is retiring? I don't think I have it no more. I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm going to break this fight and I pay my bills. I'm my heart. I'm dying to hold ground for real. She lived the nicer kind of life. She'd been a nurse, a dietitian. I was in college studying to be a teacher before she met the man who was probably my dad. She always had terrible taste in men. When a black single mom with three kids falls in a fucked up poor, there's no way out. She died before she could see any success I had. She never knew. I never got to do anything good for her. My sister and brother never got in trouble like me. I just wish you know I was going to be okay. If not, I'm never going to talk to a rabbit to shit like you. Oh, come on, Mike. No, I'm not because you're a piece of shit. We're on live TV here. What I care, you're a piece of shit. We're going to wrap up this interview. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Fuck you.